Hey, when you see your big get <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> you gonna hate this life. I'm gonna look at dick too. Yo. What's up, my high value bros? What's up, kings? What's up, guys? What's up, stars? What's good with it? Hey, man. Um, yo, you seen the clip? And <laughs> that was some bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, bruh, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? And smash that notification bell. You know what I mean? But um, let's get into this video. Listen, guys. You have to start requiring respect from the women that you deal with. You got to require the respect from the women that you deal with. A woman cannot love a man that she does not respect. Let me tell you something. Women hate low value guys. Women hate low value guys. Women will destroy <laughs> a low value guy, okay? Women will castrate you. They will, you know, psychologically destroy low value guys. They, they fucking hate them. They won't come out and say it, but the way that they treat low value men is atrocious. Like this, like this young, young brother in the video. You know what I mean? So obviously what you just saw was this, this chick, you know what I'm saying? She having sex on her Instagram live in front of her boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? And the boyfriend is watching the video and he's hurt. You can see it. The man was hurt to his soul. Like you, you can see it in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? The nigga heart was hurt. And then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? His homeboys tell me, oh, you, you see how your bitch was getting fucked on Instagram live? And they laughing at the nigga. So he's just surrounded by toxicity. His friends, so-called friends, they're not real friends, bro. You hurt, but they laughing in your misery. They're laughing in your pain. If anything, they should have shut. They should have cut it off. They should have been like, "Man, that's fucked up, bro." Hey, you need to go ahead and um, you know, uh, get rid of her. You need you need to break up with her, man. That's some bullshit. Blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? They're not real friends. So he need to cut his friends off. He need to cut that girl off. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. If a woman don't respect you and she perceives you as a low value man, bro, she gonna treat you any kind of way. She's going to manipulate you. She's going to use you. And she's just going to use her hypergamy in a negative way. Now, remember I said hypergamy isn't necessarily a bad thing because women, they want to get with the most high value resourceful guy that they can attract. You see what I'm saying? But if you don't have the woman to reciprocate your energy, then you're just being fucking manipulated and used. You see what I'm saying? Because every, you know, when you get together with a woman, you're both going, you're both getting together to give. And it's supposed to be a reciprocal uh, situation between you and her. She has to invest in you just like you invested in her. I told you guys about the meat energy. She's got to invest her money, her emotions, her efforts, and her time in you as well. That means when you motherfuckers go out to eat, she paying some of that bill. She either tipping, she paying the tip. You see what I'm saying? Or she treating you sometimes. You know what I'm saying? A woman is not your motherfucking liability. She's your responsibility, but not your liability. You guys are here to build. You're here to build dynasties and shit like that. Right? She's got to get her emotions involved. Asset, right? She's got to be happy, sad, in love, angry. You know what I'm saying? You got to get her on that emotional roller coaster. Then she's got to put in her effort. She's got to cook for you, clean for you, wash your clothes, whatever the fuck it is. She has to invest her efforts and do some type of uh, acts of service for you to be invested. And she's got to put in her time, bro. It's got to be reciprocated. You niggas are in these you, you unilateral type relationships. You guys are low value. And let me, and let me tell you what, what I mean by a low value guy. All right. You got your simps. All right. When you're a simp, you just, up, you know what I'm saying? When you're a simp ass nigga, you give a woman more value than you do yourself. You assign her more value. You pedestalize her. She can do no wrong. You don't make her be accountable to shit. You don't call her out on her bullshit. None of that. You see, you see what I'm saying? If you're a beta, you, you know what I mean? You just the least motherfucker. You spineless. You got no backbone. You can't stand up to her. You can't stand up to nobody. Your friends, motherfuckers out in the world, your boss, none of that. You just, you just spineless. That's a beta. 
If you tricking, use a John. Okay, these are all different forms of simp. But if you're a trick, that means you paying for you paying for pussy. You paying for ass in a transactional way. Okay, that's all you only fan niggas. That's all you porn niggas. That's all you um tricking ass niggas. You Johns that you know pay for sex directly, just to stick your dick in some pussy. You know what I mean? Women don't respect that. That's low value shit. Back in the day, 60s, 70s, you know what I'm saying? Niggas used to ride up and go pick up prostitutes in these seedy areas in the alleys or whatnot so they wouldn't be seen doing this shit. Before motherfuckers, when I say motherfuckers, before these bitches, these, these for the street assholes, these thoughts went off the streets and, in, and into the, uh, the strip clubs and all that, right? To finesse niggas, they used to walk the streets. And then, then they used to do what's called peep shows. A nigga would go in this little small room, you know what I'm saying? And she would come in behind a glass. And he'd open up a little window and peep at it. It used, to be, it used to be peep show. So all you OnlyFans niggas, you on some peep show type shit. You paying for a woman to, 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 to do what she do. Now, she got Instagram. There ain't enough fucking attention. Women, women love fucking men, male, male attention. They love your attention. I keep telling you niggas to stop giving away your non-sexual attention. She's not having sex with you. She's not trying to uh, um, seduce you or have sex with you. Stop giving her your fucking attention because she's not interested. You see what I'm saying? A woman would love to garner all the attention they can from men while not, while not having to fuck you, while not having to kiss you, while not having to get physical with you. So OnlyFans has really made this easy. Now they can just get behind the camera as easy as I'm talking to you and and seduce you, right? And you paying for the shit. And quite frankly, can you really blame these thoughts, these hoes, these bitches out here for doing what they do? No, you can't. You got to blame yourself because you're the one that's feeding it. That's like saying, hey, my house is on fire, but you steady throwing fuel on the motherfucker instead of water. All you got to do is withdraw your fucking attention, bro. If you want to maintain a woman's respect, call her out on her bullshit. Hey, I don't like the way you're doing this. Hey, your interest level is declining. I noticed that. Hey, I only deal with women, you know what I'm saying, who reciprocate the same high interest that I give them. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you know, it was nice knowing you. If you change your mind, give me a call. You tell them shit like that and watch they don't get their act straight if they don't, if they don't value you. You see what I'm saying? That's going to create value. That's going to turn them on because why? You're showing that you got a fucking backbone that you're not a simp that you're not a beta that you're not a a cuck you know what a cuck is a cuck is, is a young bro in this video that just showed me he just hey, when you see your big game <laughs> on instagram live by another nigga i'm sorry baby. she apologized for talking about, i'm sorry and laughing at the nigga blew a kiss at the nigga and said, hey, gonna hate this she, and then she said she wasn't even finished you gonna hate this line i'm gonna suck his dick too you see what i'm saying so when you niggas See, you niggas got no kind of self control. You niggas a got cuck no is also a man who no control takes his over girl your body back after she cheats on you. You niggas want instant gratification. You niggas got no confidence to actually go out and talk to a real woman. You want to get these low class, low frequency ass, thought ass bitches, right? You know that's why you subscribe to OnlyFans and you paying for the shit, right? I know I'm redundant with it, but it's a fact. Goddamn, porn is free, nigga. Instagram, you go on Instagram Live, what you see there? I mean, you go on Instagram, all you got to do is just open the motherfucking app. And you go to the Explore page, it's, it's bitches twerking, doing all kind of crazy shit for what? Attention, for your motherfucking like, for your comment, for you to slide in her DM, and she just fucking toy around with you. Because guess what? A high-value man is not going to do that. High-value man, we don't simp out. We don't cuck out. We don't trick. We don't john. Motherfucker, we don't comment unless we being commented on too. You know what I'm saying? We show interest, but goddamn, bro. We not we not gonna be simping about it, bro. You niggas are pathetic. You niggas are pathetic with this low value man sh pathetic with this low value shit that you guys doing. And this is why our women particularly are out of fucking control. When I say our women, I'm talking about black women. Black women are out of control because you niggas are glorifying this thought-ass bullshit culture, bro. If you start to withdraw your fucking attention, if you stop watching porn, if you stop beating your motherfucking meat, if you stop subscribing to OnlyFans, if you stop chasing these thought-ass bitches, if you stop giving away your non-sexual attention, if you start checking these motherfuckers, 
right? When they do you wrong. When you start calling them out on their bullshit. When you start, you know what I'm saying? Telling them, look, look I only fuck with women who, who, who reciprocates high interest to me. When you start telling them, hey, I accept your apology, but how you gonna make this shit right? Then, motherfucker, you start to get some respect and she gonna treat you right because now you're creating value. You think women are gonna do the shit that she did if she value you? She, didn't, she don't value this dude. Why? Because more than likely he paying for pussy. He, he subscribing her too much, you know, uh, value. He pedestalizes her. He probably paying for her, for her affection, all that, right? So she don't respect the dude. You think she going to do some shit like that to a guy that she respects? So it's, listen, it's impossible for a woman to love a man that she does not respect. She's not going to be loyal. She's not going to be caring. She's not going to support you. She's not going to build with you. None of that. She's going to castrate you because women hate low value guys, period. They want to be with the best. They want to be, they want to be with high value men, men that's going to call them out. Men that's got self-respect. Men who don't beat off the porn. Men who don't beat their meat. Men who don't assign them to... don't. Men who don't give them their non-sexual attention. Men who don't... Who, who, who are not thirsty. Men who don't chase them, but pursue them. You see what I'm saying? Big fucking difference. Men who got a life. Men who's on their purpose. Men who work out. Men who are healthy. Men who are building a business. Men who invest. Men who are... are you know, out here... Not even paying them no fucking attention, but just focus on their life. You see what I'm saying? That's what women want. They want high-value men like that. They want men with good genes, good investments. You see what I'm saying? And shit like that. You know what I mean? That respects themselves. That has dignity. But you niggas out here, man, you, you, <laughs> you're, really, you're really losing, man. You're assigning these women too much fucking value, bro. You giving it? You, these women are for the streets. You see what I'm saying? Look, if you get with these Cardi B, Suki Hana, made the stallion type, low frequency ass bitches, and I'm calling them bitches. Yes, if they're on that, if they're on the frequency of those type bitches, bro, you're losing. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna get played. You're gonna get manipulated. You got yourself a liability, and she gonna suck you dry. And not physically. I'm talking about financially, nigga. She's going to be a fucking parasite. She's going to embarrass you. She's going to shit on you. And she's going to cheat on you. And you're just going to be um, just left. Just, just just feeling sorry for yourself. Just like Buddy in the motherfucking video. And, and, and this ties into my op, bro. I'm telling you, guys, you got to raise your fucking frequency and get with you a goddess, bro. Get with you a high-value woman. Get, get with you a goddess, a spiritual woman. You know, I talk about this all the time. Spiritual women, they're going to lead you to your soul. Right? See, because let me tell you something. The lowest calling of a woman is to seduce a man, separating him from his soul, and to leave him aimlessly wondering. Okay? Think about that. The lowest calling of a woman is to seduce a man and separate him from his soul. What's your soul? You knowing that you are what? A god, a king, a star, knowledge of... And when you got you a queen, she's going to know these things about you and lead you to that. She's not going to separate separate you from that. So when this chick cheated on dude in front of his face and laughed at him, blew him a kiss and said she's going to continue sucking the guy's dick, she don't value that dude. She don't see him as a god or a king or a star, none of that. She's separating from his soul and left him aimlessly wondering, man. Guys, stop beating your meat. Stop watching porn. Stop being low value, guys. Raise your motherfucking frequency and give it to a goddess. Get with you a high value woman, man. This shit got to stop today, bro. Because we, you know, our black women, <laughs> they're on some fuckery right now. And a lot of it has to do with them, but a lot of it has to do with us because they're only going to do what we like. So we have to start mandating, no, nah, we want more goddesses out here. We want more goddesses who eat healthy, more goddesses who wear their natural hair, more goddesses that, that are into yoga, more goddesses that are into maya and the comedic sciences. More goddesses who are righteous. More goddesses who have a moral code. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you could be sexy, but be classy with that shit, man. It's all good. I love a sexy woman. And you should too, but man, but leave these thoughts and leave these bitches alone just for the streets, man. God damn. I don't want to make this video too long, man. I'm going to wrap it up right here. You already know what it is, man. Grab the t-shirt. Get that high value, man. T-shirt, man. You know what I'm saying? I got it for men and women. You know, 
Um, also, guys, go ahead and get the book, How to Be a High Value Man, The Blueprint to Successful Women. It's available in ebook and paperback. You know, um, guys, follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Ace underscore hey rule, A C E underscore hey rule. Fellas, you know what I'm saying? If you got a problem with a woman, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and email me, ACIE333, ACIE333 at gmail.com. Shoot me a paragraph or two describing what's going on. I'll dissect and give you a plan of action. If you want to do a face to face FaceTime, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, for a consultation, I'm going to help you out with it. You know, I'll give you some game or whatnot. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Like my shit, share my shit, subscribe to my shit. You know what I'm saying? It helps the channel grow. Comment on my shit as well. That way, you know, it helps the channel grow, get monetized, all that, and be successful, man, so we continue to create more high-value men out here, you know what I'm saying, on this journey. And, um, hey, man, that's all I got for now, guys. I'm out. Man, love. Peace. Yeah, I was pissed off today, man. That's, that was some bullshit. You know what you need to do. Now, do the work. Get the book, read it, and apply it, and raise your motherfucking frequency and get you a queen. Get you a goddess. I'm out this bitch. Peace.